Hello, my name is Ramon Kadai and welcome to the newest episode of Insights from an Autistic. In today's episode, uh, instead of focusing on me and how autism has affected my life and how um, today I'm going to be talking about some statistics. And uh, it's not meant to be comprehensive, but it's meant to be educational and informative. So for those who are learning about autism, hopefully these uh, statistics will offer some insight. Um, there's one statistic that I'm going to start off with, and I, and I don't recall what source it's in from, but I've heard that uh, about 80% of marriages end in divorce once their child is discovered to have um, autism. So I think that's uh, quite a shame. I've read quite a few books about this as well, but I cannot cite a source, so I apologize for that. Um, but, uh, but other than that, all the other statistics from henceforth, I have sources. So these uh, statistics come from the Autism Society of America, and um, there's one out of 150 children are now being diagnosed with autism. Um, there's estimated to be 1.5 million Americans with autism. It is the fastest growing developmental um, disability. However, though, I do not like the term disability because I believe it's a way of thinking, a way of living, you know, being autistic, being an individual with autism myself. I I do not see it as a disability. Um, here's a growth comparison. So f during the 1990s, uh, the U.S. population increased by 13 percent, disabilities increased by 16 percent, and autism increased by 172 um, percent. Additional statistics from the Autism Society of America uh, it usually occurs between the ages of two and four. Um, Eighty percent of all autistics are male. Um, a new case of autism is diagnosed nearly every 20 minutes, and also autism receives less than 5% of the research funding in many less prevalent childhood um, disorders. Um, even more statistics from the Autism Society of America. Uh, there's a $90 billion in estimated annual costs, and 90% of these costs are in adult services. Uh, it is estimated that costs of lifelong care can be reduced by two-thirds of early diagnosis and intervention. In 10 years, it's estimated that annual cost will be between 200 and 400 billion dollars for autism. And some additional uh, statistics. This is from talking about carrying autism, and this deals with California, where which is where I live right now. So right now, there's more than two new cases um, each day about autism, seven days a week in California alone. From 1987 to 1998, there was a 633% increase in autism in the state of California. From 1998 to 2002, there was an initial 96% increase in autism. Uh, there are 35,626% cases of autism in California as of September of 2007. Um, autism cases represent over 18% of the regional center caseload, and the uh, annual budget for um, autism care is over $171 million. And autism cases account for nearly 60% of the intake. Um, for in-state operating institutions of care, there are 3,273 people with autism. And they made a note, the numbers do not include PDD, uh, NOS, Asperger's, and other spectrum disorders. So, I hope that this video has been informative. Thank you for watching. And in, the, in my following videos, I promise to focus more on myself and how that relates to autism, but I decided to get some information out there for those that may have been interested. So thank you for watching, take care and have an extraordinary day.